factoring general trinomials. How do we factor out general trinomials? Let's have here an example. We have 6x squared plus 9x minus 15. So to factor this trinomial, first we need to multiply our first term and our third term. Multiplying, we will have here 6x squared multiplied by negative 15. This will give us negative 90x squared. We will then factor this out and then we are going to find for the factors that will give us the sum equal to our second term. Okay, let's get the factors of negative 90x squared. negative 90 x squared so the factors of negative 90 x squared we will have here since this is positive the larger factor of negative 90 x squared must also be positive let's try here negative 1 and 90 or rather negative 1 x and 90 x negative x plus 90x the sum here will be equal to 89x this is not equal to positive 9x this is not the factor that we are looking let's try here negative 2x negative 2x and positive 45x negative 2x plus 45x plus 45x this will be positive 43x again this is not equal to our middle term here negative 5x and positive 18x negative 5x plus 18x this will be equal to positive 13x again this is not equal to our middle term this is not the factor that we are looking and let's try another out negative 6x and positive 15x negative 6x plus 15x this is equal to positive 9x so positive 9x is equal to our second term this is now the factors that we are going to use we can rewrite this equation so rewriting this will now be 6x squared plus okay so we are going to add here negative 6x plus 15x minus 15 okay so we have here rewritten our equation so we have here 6x squared positive multiplied by negative that is negative 6x plus 15x minus 15. And then we are going to combine some terms. Okay, so let's try to combine 6x squared and 6x. Here is 6x squared minus 6x. Okay, so plus since this is positive this will also be positive 15x and since this is negative again it would still be negative 15 okay so we can factor that out this will be 6x and this will be x minus 1 plus 15x minus 15 15 is common between the two terms so we'll factor out 15 and then 15x divided by 15 that is equal to x minus 15 divided by 15 that is 1 so we have here x minus 1 and x minus 1 so we can combine them and then we can also combine 6x plus 15 so com combining we will have here 6x plus 15 multiply this by x minus 1 okay so therefore 6x squared plus 9x minus 15 its factored form will be the quantity of 6x plus 15 
multiplied by x minus 1. This is now our final answer. Let's have another example. We will have here 4x squared plus 7x minus 15. To factor this out, first we are going to multiply the first term and the last term. We will have here 4x squared multiplied by 15 or rather negative 15 and this will give us negative 60x squared. We have here negative 60x squared and the factors will be now remember in factoring negative 60x squared we are going to find for the factors that will give us the sum that will equal to the middle term. Okay let's try here negative 1x or negative x and positive 60x. Now, our larger term will always be positive because this is positive. Negative 1x plus 60x. This is equal to positive 59x. Okay, so 59x is not equal to positive 7x. This is not what we're looking. How about if we try negative 4x and positive 15x? Negative 4x plus 15x. This will be equal to positive 11x. Positive 11x is not equal to positive 7x. This is not what we're looking. Let's try another. We have here negative 5x. Multiply this by positive 12x. Negative 5x plus 12x. This is equal this is equal to positive 7x. So 7x here is equal to our middle term, which is also 7x. This is the factors that we will be using can rewrite now our equation using these two factors. So we will have here 4x squared. Instead of positive 7x, we will now have here plus negative 5x plus positive 12x minus 15. And we can combine like terms. Okay, so we have here 4x squared plus multiplied by negative this will give us negative 5x plus 12x and negative 15 okay so we can combine 4x squared and positive 12x and we can also combine negative 5x and negative 15 we will have here 4x squared plus 12x and then we will have minus so minus and then we have here negative 5x and negative 15 now since this is negative and this is negative we can put here positive 5x since negative multiplied by positive that is equal to negative and this is also negative so we will put here positive 15 and then let's factor so 4x is common, we will have here 4x, multiply this by x, plus 12x divided by 4x, that will give us positive 3, minus, okay, 5 is common, and then 5x divided by 5, that is x, and 15 divided by 5, that is positive 3. So we have here the same terms. The quantity of x plus 3, this will be taken as 1, and then we can combine 4x minus 5. So we have here 4x minus 5, and this will now be multiplied by the quantity of x plus 3. Therefore, 4x squared plus 7x minus 15, its factored form now will be the quantity of 4x minus 5 multiplied by the quantity of x plus 3. This is now our final answer.
let's have here our last example we have 8 a squared minus 14 a b plus 3 b squared to factor out this general trinomial we have to multiply the first term and the last term we have here 8 a squared multiplied by positive 3 b squared this will give us positive 24 a squared b squared and then we have to factor out 24 a squared b squared and we will find the factors that will give us the sum of negative 14 a b let's factor this out let us now factor out 24 a squared b squared let's try first negative a b and multiply this by negative 24 a b we have here negative and negative because when we multiply the two it will give us positive and if we add the two negative and negative it will give us negative this will be equal to negative 25 a b negative 25 a b is not equal to negative 4 a b we are not going to use this let's try negative 2 a b and multiply this by negative 12 a b negative 2 a b plus negative 12 a b this will be equal to negative 14 a b so negative 14 a b is equal to our second term therefore we are going to use this factors and we can now rewrite our trinomial expression okay so we have here 8 a squared instead of negative 14 a b this will now be minus 2 a b okay positive multiplied by negative this will give us negative 12 a b plus 3 b squared in terms we can combine 8 a squared and negative 2 a b and we can also combine negative 12 a b and 3 b squared so combining we will have here the quantity of 8 a squared minus 2 a b and we will have here negative since this is negative this will now become positive 12 a b since negative multiplied by positive is negative and since this is positive this will be negative okay this is negative 3 b squared okay 8 a squared minus 2 a b we can factor out 2a so 2a will be put on the outside 8a squared divided by 2a this will give us 4a negative 2ab divided by 2a this will be negative b minus 12ab minus 3b squared 3b is common so we have to factor that out 12ab divided by 3b this will give us 4a and we have here the minus sign 3b squared divided by 3b that will be equal to b okay 4ab 4a minus b and we have here 4a minus b we can combine this as 1 and then we can combine this also 2a minus 3b we have here the quantity of 2a minus 3b and we are going to multiply this by the quantity of 4a minus b therefore 8a squared minus 14ab plus 3b squared its factors will be the quantity of 2a minus 3b multiplied by the quantity of 4a minus b and this is now our final answer